Picasso once said that every child is born an artist and the problem is to remain an artist once we grow. And their creative adult is the child that survived. It is a documentary called Homeland, and it tells the story of Solomon Adufa, a 26-year-old living in Chicago. Solomon is from Ghana and taught himself how to paint about five years ago. Now he's on a mission to bring the gift of art back to the children in his village. Joining me this afternoon in the Fox 32 studios is Solomon and Carlos Cortez, the filmmaker making this documentary. Thank you so much for joining Hi, us. Thanks. We appreciate Hi, it. Thanks. And looking at the documentary, I saw the look on your face, Carlos, as you were just sitting there like, you're amazed at Absolutely. what he is able to do. Yeah. Tell me first, why did you decide to put his story into a documentary? I mean, I just think that, you know, there's people walking around with these uh, gifts and they don't find them, they don't realize them until later on in life. And he's just, his, his spirit is just amazing. And whether, you know, whether you're 21, 41, 51, uh, it, it just sometimes just takes time. Interesting that you would say 21 because Solomon, you were 21 years yes. old when you just said, what? I'm going to wake up one day and I'm going to start <laughs> learning. I'm going to teach myself how to paint. What'd you do? Well, I've always been uh, a creative. I've already had a creative mind. You know, growing up in Ghana, uh, I always used to watch um, Scooby-Doo uh, when it came up uh, and uh, on my uncle's uh, powered with a black and white television set powered by my uncle's car battery. And that was um, uh, when I would uh, you know, start sketching out characters. Um, so I've always had that as artist, uh, artistic ability, but I didn't pick up a brush and a paint tube uh, till about five years ago. Um, and experimenting with different mediums such as uh, acrylic and uh, oil pastels and pastels. And uh, finally, I found something that really worked for me and I just kept working at it. Amazing, Solomon, that you've gone from painting Scooby to painting <laughs> this beautiful, I mean, beautiful, colorful. I mean, it looks like you've, been painting for a long, long time. Lord, Are you God. amazed at your talents? Um, I'm very humbled <laughs> and um, grateful uh, for the God-given talent that I have. Uh, and also I know that I have a purpose in life uh, with it and I'm looking to follow that purpose. And that purpose is taking this gift that you have back to your village there absolutely, in Ghana. Absolutely, absolutely. And why is this so important for you? Uh, I believe that growing up, since I didn't have those um, these resources and I didn't have somebody that, you know, direct me towards uh, or encourage me that I, I, I had a artistic ability that I could use um, um, in developing. And so now that I have those resources, I'm looking to give back and, um, you know, be able to mentor these kids and teach these kids so that they can express their artistic abilities and expand their imagination. Carlos, you met Solomon and you, ha like you said, we're telling his, his story through mm -hmm. this documentary. Is it amazing how we so many times take things for granted here in this country and you're sharing Absolutely. that story of what Absolutely. they do <laughs> not or are not able, yes. the resources they do not have? Yeah, I think Solomon sees in these children, he sees himself. You know, at that age, right. and he just wished he could have had that creative outlet. And uh, it's just amazing when you look at the photographs and and the, the faces of the kids. Uh, it's just you know so organic. If you just sit down and watch him paint, it's like you know it's like a maestro. I was going to say, in looking at the video here, mm -hmm. I mean, did you have, do you have to sometimes put the camera I do. down? I do, I do, <laughs> I do. And uh, I have a lot of questions for him, and that's why that's why I want to go on this journey with him. And I was going to ask you, what are you going to do with this documentary that we're looking at? Uh, Where is it going to be shown? Who's going to be able to see it? And where can we learn more about uh, Solomon's art? Absolutely. We, uh, well, Solomon's website, uh, give me, you can give me your website. www.edufaart.com. Um, I have Spell that so everybody knows. www.edufaart.com. And I have a lot of my work out there and I, my Homeland series, Africa, my Homeland series, Ghana, um, which I'm working on right now. And I'm, I'm extremely working hard in the studio and I'm putting work together. And yeah. again, Carlos, and the, about your documentary. Absolutely. The film will probably be done uh, in September and we'll do the film festival route. We'll have a premiere here in Chicago, home. Uh, and then we'll probably go across the country uh, with film festivals, so. Okay, and, and I see, of course, your beautiful artwork. We've got a couple of the paintings right here. Absolutely. Somebody at home is going to email or call and want to know where they can purchase some of yes, your artwork. Absolutely. Go to your website? Yes, absolutely. And I have, um, if they wanted to see it in person, I have several of my work um, at Gishard Gallery. 
um, that they can go and um, you know take a look at it in person as well too. Andre absolutely. Gouchard, that gallery yes, there absolutely. in Bronzeville. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And about how much are you selling your your art for? My originals are about uh, runs between the two thousand to three thousand um, dollars um, each for the originals, um, but I also sell prints online on my website as well too. You just so. love color. I'm just looking at the color and in your artwork yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I always like to say that colors can tell you everything you know. Uh, you need to know about human emotion. Um, mm. So when I'm expressing um, um, colors and using um, them as um, a way to um, bring out the beauty and the personality in the individuals that I paint, um, it's very expressive. And when I'm you know, in a moment painting, I'm thinking about all these wonderful moments that I shared with these people. Mm. Or I'm thinking about you know some of the things that, um, uh, that were beautiful about them and who they are. Um, and that helps me um, use colors to um, uh, uh, to work out uh, what I'm trying to achieve. Carlos, mm -hmm. Solomon, thank you for joining us thank this you afternoon. Very much. Carlos, if people want more information about your documentary, give us your web address as well. Uh, my web address is uh, carloscortez.com, which is C A R L O S C O R T E S.com. And they can go on and look at photos and, and, and updates about the film. All right, and yeah. it is going to be done in September, yeah. and of course, a yeah. film festival. Here Absolutely. in Chicago Absolutely. and other places. You'll be the first Best one of luck know. to you. We'll have to have yes. you back, okay? Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you so much. And Thank also, you. really appreciate it. Um, people can contribute um, to this cause. Uh, we've opened up a GoFundMe account, um, and it's www.gofundme.com forward slash um, Adufa, and uh, they can contribute um, to my travel back to Ghana to make these um, kids uh, have a better life. Give them a chance yes. at art. Yes, as absolutely. While they're children, we've been waiting until later as adults. Yeah, Thank you so much. Really appreciate it.